Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play Neopets The Darkest Fairy. I'm your host, the Gimme Darius. As we left off, we did a couple of things. I actually forgot what we did. It's been a bit since the last recording. But we were about to go off and into the castle in order to do things. Uh, let's see, talk to Laszlo, complete all the chores, find the builder. Yep, can't do that, just wait. Did I just do that? Village of Bogshot, only he can repair the bridge to me. Did I already find him? Like he was on the way to some other place? Oh well. So let's find this Laszlo guy. Oh god. If I sound a little bit tired, I'm not really tired, I'm just kind of squinting at my screen because I got a thing going on where my window is right next to my uh, monitor that I use. Hmm. Closed, closed. Yep, still closed. Where's this last little guy? Where is he? That's not gonna help. Oh, sorry. The Chamberlain. In the upper castle. Duh. But yeah, I have this thing going on where my window is right next to my monitor. So, any and all sun glare is coming right to my face. Are you, Laszlo? Thank goodness, Master Turok finally sent somebody. The king's been trying to take a nap for hours. Do you hear that? That racket from outside? Hmm. It's the Crocobacks come to the roost in the castle courtyard again. Mm -hmm. If the king doesn't get his nap soon, he'll be in a mood, and when he's in a mood, heads have a tendency to roll. I need you to get rid of any crocobac nests you find in the courtyard. Hmm. Find the crocobac ro roosts and smash them to pieces. And please hurry. If the king does get his nap soon, he'll turn cranky. Very cranky. Cool. Uh, it's it's fable it's fable one all over again. Gotta smash the nests. I wonder where all the nests even are. I wonder if anything happens if I smash these guys. Yes, smash them for new points. Okay. Yes, it's all the little freaky ass goddamn camera. Starting only to work every so often. Well, I guess we're going to go crush some crocobeck nests. I mean, I can't blame him for wanting me to do so in the first place. Crocobasts are kind of annoying. Especially to an adventurer who does little else besides eat stuff for health. Health is good. I really need to remember my button combinations here. Circle is attack, X is jump. Square is to interact with all the things. Uh, yeah, that way. The fact that I don't have this place memorized is a little saddening, but then again, it has been a while since I've since I've last played this game. I mean, all the way through, not just you know playing it for the let's play right now all right so let's find these nests naturally they would probably be in a very roosty sort of fashion I be gonna have to do one of these and jump yeah there we go I believe one of the roosts is up here I mean, why the hell else have this up here if, you know, there ain't gonna be something up here. Ah. I'm still used to the Castlevania Curse of Darkness right now, because I came off of Let's Playing that for, for a while now. There we go. One nest. Still have four more to find. Uh, four nests. Okay. It's cool. It's alright. We got this. Maybe. I can't land in that tree, but I'll, that's that's cool. Just gotta find the other nests. I'm pretty sure one of them is up there. And the reason I say that is because I totally saw it before I changed the camera angle. What's up, guy? Apologies, why? It's just we can't work without with these crocobacks about. They might um peck us or something. You make a path there. 
tick dragon. Damn it. For some reason I saw the square and was all like, yeah, I'm gonna press that button. Uh, uh, up, 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 tour. Up. Thank you. Okay, better if I... What is this? Eh. Eh. Oh, okay. Sure. Nope. That's that's good. It's good, camera. Thanks, camera. Up. That's not up. This is up. Up. Ooh. What few nightmares I actually do have about this game are coming back again. Namely, the camera. Okay, so I bet you could reach these vines and use. Wait. Oh, those vines. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see them because I don't have eyes on the top of my head. Come on, stab, stab, stab. Hey, that actually worked. Two nests gone. All right. How about you? Hey, Squire, those crocobacks make this a dangerous situation. Okay. Ah. Freaking A. Tight corridors plus this camera equals all the frustration. Just gonna say that. And leave it at that. Because otherwise this game is really good. Kinda like how people still love the hell out of, um... What is it? Super Mario 64? Despite the fact that its camera is atrocious. Atrocious? Atrocious? It's bad. It's a bad camera. Get on the ladder. Get on the ladder. There we go. Go ink up. Ah! Mm. Get down here and fight me like a real bird. Oh, geez, he's actually coming down here to fight me like a real bird. No, it's Tor, 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 Tor. I know you like that ladder. Stop it. Uh, Crocobax. Why did it have to be Crocobax? See, in this case, Crocobax are my snake. Third nest. Some luck, the other two will be easy to find. Yeah, well, that's assuming that I'm not let's playing this in. That they are easy to find. That said, I don't think they're actually all that easy to find. Or I might just be, you know, complete idiot and trying to remember this stuff. What's up, Torak? Don't mind me just smashing your barrels. Nope, oh, that's behind here. Yar! Yeah, there's another one. Boing! Almost done with this quest. Four nets, one to go. Now, where is it? Obviously, it's got to be up in a higher region, but there's not much many more higher regions besides. Wait, do I have to get. Let's see. Yep, up there. Oh, there's vines over there that I can jump onto. Ugh. See, it's a good thing that the game reminded me about the vines, because otherwise, I probably would not have looked at these vines and said, Oh, hey, these totally look climbing worthy. I'm actually holding left right now to climb up these vines. Riddle me that. Okay. Come here, croaky. Croak, croak, croak. Oh, okay. Yes, the mighty deed of a squire. Destroying crook pack nests. Now to the upper, to tell Chamberlain Laszlo in the upper halls. As the, as the mighty squire then plummets to his death off of the side of the castle. 
That would be a rather anticlimactic end to this game. Hey, way to go! I just, just demolished the entirety of all the crocobacks in the area. Well, I just broke my legs. Exit! Come on. Load faster! Curse you, PS2! You're not that old of a PS2 either. It's like one of the slim lines ones. Right. Left, rather. His, my left, his right, that's it. Yeah. Hmm? Da, 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 da. Laszlo, I've done the deed. That was a close call. Good job, Squire. The king is now slumbering peacefully. I'd mention your good. I'll mention your good work to Master Torak. Report back to him. I mean, it's amazing you're doing that. From, you know, all the way over here. It must be telepathic. Uh, that must be what the antennas are for. I forget what species a Neopet Laszlo was. Like, I forget what they're called. And what they even do. Besides, kind of look like dogs. Maybe they're alien dogs. I wouldn't doubt that there's alien dogs. I mean, they do have an entire part of Neopia where it's nothing but, like, space traveling in space suits in space space I can't word I'm still actually kind of tired Heck. this camera it's gonna cause someone seizures I know it all right last I saw Torak he was up here he's not up here where is he Torak. Oh, there he is. What do you want me to do now, sir? Still alive, huh? We'll soon fix that. It's time to learn about shields. Any bumpkin can stand behind them to block attacks, but only true warriors utilize the power of moats to strengthen their defense. The best warriors can even use moats to deflect missile shots right back at their attack. Now let's begin. Now attach your flame moat to your shield, the same way you did with your sword. Mm. Two things you must always remember with moats. Opposite alignments increase damage and similar alignments repel damage. Mm. So for your sake, the better you better make sure you assign a fire aligned moat to your shield. Die. Uh shield. Mm. Alright, now go stand in the ring over there. Ah. Yes, that charred spot on the ground. Mm. It's a precaution, you may want to assign a moat to your armor as well. <laughs> What's on your armor reduce damage from attacks. And then stay in the ring, block the shots. Uh, oh, that shot. Not bad, Squire, not bad at all for your first day. Now go to the barracks and get some sleep. There'll be more for you to do tomorrow. Man, what sim how simple it is to actually be a Squire. I mean, save for maybe Clog Duty. Clog Duty, yeah. Let's see, what is he going to have me do on the next day, eh? Probably something just as, um, tedious? I don't know. Now I just need to remember where... Oh, right. Beds. Derp. Hmm. Was it this one? Was yeah. this one? Was trying to climb into bed there. Way to go. Tor, wake up and call for a mission. Master Torak wants to see you right now. He's in the main hall. A mission? Actual mission mission? Not just pulling my leg, are we, Torak? Where'd you go, Torak? A mission? Yes. We get a mission. La 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 la. I've only been a squire for a day. Every other squire must be like, Man, screw Torment. Tor, good. Hope you're well rested. By order of the king, you have been assigned a royal mission. A mission? The castle has received word of Ixie raiders attacking a small mining village to the southern mountains named Coggum. You've been chosen to join Sir Harlag to give them aid. <laughs> Understood? Yes, sir. Then find Sir Harlag. He should be in the dining hall. Tell him your orders and ride for Coggum. Ah! Go. Yay! I got an actual freaking night quest. All right. See if we can't, uh, get, uh, what's-his-face. 
Slobface. Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna call him. Mr. Slobface. This is not where Mr. Slobface is. This is a library. I doubt that Mr. Slobface has ever seen a library. Where'd I go? Did I do a bad? Kind of a bad. God damn it. I was on the wrong side of the castle entirely. Then we'll go to Cogham. Cogham, I believe, is through the Draconach Ridge. Which, if you guys remember, is not good because I kind of dislike the Draconachs. 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 Crocobacks. Most of the things that aren't um, actually elementally aligned in this game kind of kick your arse. It's not the camera. That's the camera button. Bump my microphone. Sorry. Sir Hollag? Uh, what was... What do you want, boy? Fetch me some more meat if you're just gonna stand there. I'm not here to serve you. The village of Cockham is under attack, sir. We've been given orders to give them aid. We? As in you and me? Pha! You sent a squire to me? What, no other knight is fit to ride? Pha! I'm insulted. They all hear about this very idea. But, sir, Cogham needs us. Cogham, that little fly speck of a town, is always under attack. I'll get to it when I'm done eating. No use riding out to the edge of the kingdom on an empty stomach. Now go away, boy. You're interfering with my supper. Dick. Make your way south to Cogham and find out what's the matter. Because, screw you, Sarlag. More like... Sarlacc, because his belly's a pit and Star Wars reference. Yes. Anyways, so off to Cogham. Because, you know, hero. Whatever. Good guy. Right? That's what I am. I'm a good guy. Oh, hey! Sup, guy? Ah, oh, he's happy uh -huh. to see me. So you're off to Cogham then. Uh -huh. Not until Sir stuffs his face is done with his food. Hmm. Remember your manners, Squire. Sorry, it's just people are suffering and he wants to do nothing. Hmm. What would you do if you heard your farm was being attacked? I'd go out and help them immediately. Hmm. Then what's stopping you here? Hmm. I... well... Yeah. What does your heart tell you? Hmm. Hmm. Master Torak never said we had to leave at the same time. Uh -huh. Good. Hmm. No one should wait idly while others suffer. Hmm. Thank you, sir. I'll leave Lord Cogham right now. Yeah, leaving for Cogham. It's just gonna probably be a moment while well, I try to remember how to even get to Cogham. I think it's the north exit. I want to say the north exit. I'm I'm gonna take a stab and say the north exit. And by stab, I mean risk wasting time. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Ah. <sighs> All this walking. Was this it? Yes. Yes, yes it was. I'm slowly trying to remember more of this game. It's like, I forget how long the first act is. And then I think the second act is relatively short by comparison. Wait. Oh wait, does this lead to Meridale Fields? Plains? Whatever. Crap it. See, I knew it. I knew I was going to do it. All right. North to the plains. Which means that I have to go through to the west? I think the west. Bring up the music. It's either to the west or to the... Yeah. Ugh. This is what I get for not playing a, sing a type of game for, like, a week. I mean, usually I like to do my recordings all in, uh, one giant recording session and, you know, see what happens from there on, but, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm pretty sure this is the way. Yeah, this is the way. Like, this leads to Draconac Ridge, and through Draconac Ridge, we reach Cogham. 
I just need to remember which way through the Chakanak Ridge I get to Cockham. My Shatner skills need a little work. Cockham. Okay. Cockham is just further south. Which isn't terrible. It's like, I think it's the path that has the least amount of... Um, Drakenax, Drakenax, god damn it, I forgot their name again. You'd think I would remember the bane of my existence and its name. I don't know. Oh, what about a mo- a, a mountainous plateau-y sort of place like this to live in? But then again, I'm also not sure. Well, there's music, which means you can tell that we're in either a town or a dungeon. In this case, it's Cogham. I'm not sure why it's called Cogham Village, seen as, you know, I don't really see any cogs. But hey, we'll, we'll roll with that. I just want to quickly save in case I die because cutscene. Cutscene is why I fear death right now. Yes. Ooh. The village is very much on fire. See, times like this, I have to worry about Trogdor. And yes, I am more or less flaming again with uh, my goddamn. But hey, at least I got armor this time, so the Ixie are a little bit more handleable. Ah, there's one. What's up, Mr. Ixie? Ow. Ha ha. He tried to stab me. He fell. You got a bow and arrow. Ow. Stab him! Stab him more! You can very clearly see why the hell some of this combat is a little bit me. But still, it's a rather fun game. I don't know why. Why is it so much fun? How many more Ixie? There's one over here. And you! Ow. Ow. Ha. Uh, okay. Totally didn't have my shield up, apparently. There we go. There I have my shield. Okay. Maybe I should actually use my uh, fire modes more. Also because I think they are the most plentiful of modes. At least in this area. Oh, stop backing up, you cheap bastard. There we go. Admitted. I don't know how many more people I have to save. You, are you saved? Try not to panic, try not to panic. Breathe, breathe. It's not working. Run! I'm good with a panicked voice. How about you? Run for the hills! Run for your lives! That's a, that's a song. It's an actual song. What's up, kid? Mommy, where are you, mommy? Uh, ooh, water moat. Oh, yes, him. How many more Ixie are there? Oh. Thanks, camera. Totally didn't want that to happen or anything. Some help here. I need some assistance. Where's Gershwin? He'd know what to do. Just no, he doesn't. Okay. They should be all, oh, thank you for your help. At least some of them should. No. Our homes, our homes are burning. <laughs> yep. That's what happens when you apply fire to straw and wood. I mean, some of them look like stone, so it should be rather relatively easy to rebuild, I guess. Well, if that's the last of the Ixie, that means that 
I've only got one path to go. Up here. Where I can possibly stop all the Ixie all together. All of them. Ever. Oh no, there's a couple up here. Never mind. I'm a, I'm a dope. Ha. Uh, okay. Okay, that's one Ixie. Haha. I don't know, maybe they're fire aligned too, because they did burn down houses. We better run and tell the boss what has happened. Yeah, he sure isn't going to be very happy about it. Run, run you little pansies. Well, let's fire. Where's the knight you serve? He's he's not here yet. Then when is he coming? Um, I'm not sure. <gasps> what? What was Mirabelle thinking? We're only getting a squire? But I drove them away. Only back to the camp. They'll keep coming back until the leader is gone, or we are he or we are. That means we have to exterminate all of the Ixie. Sounds fun. Well, actually, it does sound fun, however, this video is getting a little long. Hmm. So Meridale finally sent someone to help? About time. Yeah. No, they're going to be back, right? Totally! That's why I'm going to run this way. Hope there's a save point right... Oh, hey, you Gershwin. Huh? What a great fight. I think you probably chased them off for good. Yeah, not likely. That's right. I keep on forgetting about this particular jump. Like if you accidentally uh, run off the ledge there, yeah, you know, it's that whole da 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 boom, -bum, because apparently Tor can't swim. Don't ask me why he can't swim. He just can't load. Get on the ladder. Ah. Not so fond memories of this place. Not so fond memories at all. Because this place is pretty much a giant uh, platformer puzzler thingy maducher. Er. Hmm? Oh, what's this? Oh. Yeah, some kind of slimy sea pot. And it's pulsing. Better. I bet this will help Elspeth's plants to grow. How would you know that? Now, fun thing though, oh, if you're not getting shot like 50 times with bows and arrows, is that you can actually run past the majority of these guys. Ow. Oh, that guy just hit me in midair, so. Uh, run from the Ixie. Run from the Ixie. Are you kidding? I was up on the thing. Ha! Ah. Suck it! Okay, um, climb the ladder. Oh, hey, treasure. Open. And another rainbow mode. Nice. Alright, if I can just. Ow. Let's not get cornered by Ixie again, shall we? Ah! Yes, I am running by most of the Ixie because Ixie are a pain in the ass to fight, especially in such large quantities. Especially the ones with the bows and arrows, because they will shoot your ass down. Which way do we go here? Ah, this way. Awesome. Another Ixie. Hello, guy. My guy. Jesus, you guys are. Really going at me. Right. Now that I got through that place, I'm going to go ahead and save and call it an episode. Because when we return, we shall head into the next part of the Cogum Steps. Which is, of course, a cave. Where we shall now go and exterminate the Ixie and their boss and all that fun stuff. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.